Our next big goal is going to involve being able to factor trinomials. And remember that a trinomial is just a polynomial with three terms. And basically we're gonna be looking at factoring stuff in this form. So you're gonna have x squared plus some number times x plus uh, or minus some constant c here. Uh, and whenever you factor trinomials, the general format is that you're gonna have a binomial times a binomial. So you're gonna have two different binomials multiplied together that are gonna give us this. Now, before we get into factoring trinomials, though, there is one prerequisite skill, uh, and that's kind of related to these little puzzles here. You're gonna have to be able to look at these trinomials, and you're gonna have to be able to find two numbers that multiply to one number and at the same time add to give you uh, a different number. So just to read these directions, it says in each diagram below, write the two numbers on the sides of the X that are multiplied together to get the top number of the X, but added together to get the bottom number of the X. So basically with this first one, we want two numbers that are gonna multiply to give, you, give us nine, and at the same time add to give us negative six. So if we're gonna multiply to get nine, we need to think of our factor pairs of nine. So one and nine, for example, but that's not gonna add to give us that negative six. Uh, and then you have three and three, uh, in order to get the negative six, these are gonna have to be negative three and negative three. So notice that multiplying these two numbers, negative times a negative will give me a positive. So negative three times negative three will give me this positive nine. And if I add these two numbers, negative three plus negative three will give me negative six. Hey, right, let's take a look at another one. I need two numbers that will multiply together to give me four and at the same time add to give me four. So if I think of my factors of four, one and four, two and two, looks like my answer has to be two and two. Two times two would give me four and at the same time two plus two would give me four. My next set of numbers, I need two numbers that multiply together to give me negative 30. All right, so let's start thinking of my factor pairs of negative 30. So first off, it definitely has to be the case that one of these numbers is positive and one of these numbers is negative because I'm multiplying two numbers together and I'm getting this negative 30. The only way I can multiply two integers and get a negative is if one is positive and one is negative. And then looking down here, being that I'm adding to get negative 13, uh, the part that has the larger absolute value is going to have the negative sign on it. All right, so let's start going through my factor pairs of 30. And while I'm thinking of these, I wanna think about adding to get negative 13. So the first pair would be one and 30. That's not gonna work. Second pair would be two and 15. I think we have our winner already. So we need to be careful though about where we put the two and where we put the 15. Uh, remember that when I add, I want these two numbers to give me this negative 13. So notice that if I take the absolute value of these, the absolute value of this is two, the absolute value of this is negative 15, absolute, um, excuse me, the absolute value of negative 15 is positive 15. So because this one has the larger absolute value, when I add these two numbers, my sign is gonna match this sign right here with the negative. So negative two plus negative 15 is negative 13 and um, positive two plus or times negative 15 would give me negative 30. All right, let's take a look at a few more. Um, so our next example, notice we have a bigger value here. So now we want two numbers that will multiply to give me negative 84 and at the same time add to give me positive five. So just like the last problem, I know for sure there's one of these integers is gonna be positive, one of these integers is going to be negative. So let's start thinking through my factors of 84, and you know, this is a larger number, so you know, by all means, if you feel like you need to use a calculator, go ahead. Uh, so one and 84 would be my first factor pair, that's not gonna get me five. Uh, 84 would be divisible by two, right? And it'd be 42 times two, uh, but that's not gonna give me positive five whenever I add. Uh, 84 would be divisible by three for sure, right? Because the sum of these digits would be 12 because 12 is divisible by four. 84 has, has to be divisible um, by three as well. 
excuse me, I think I said 84 has to be divisible by four. When it's 84 has to be divisible by three, uh, and it would be 28 times three, we're still not getting our five. Um, let's keep going. 84 divided by four works. It's four times 21, still not getting five. I can't divide 84 by five. Uh, I can divide 84 by six. It's 14 times six. That would give me 84. Still not getting that positive five. Let's keep going. 84 divided by seven would give me 12. So 12 times seven would give me 84. And notice that I can work with the 12 and the seven to get this positive five here. So if as long as I put my 12 here with the positive and my seven here with the negative, positive 12 times negative seven would give me negative 84 and positive 12 and negative seven added together uh, would give me positive five. All right, let's talk through one more together. So I want two numbers that will multiply to give me negative 24 and add to give me negative five. Uh, so thinking through, uh, I know this is negative right here. So once again, one of these integers has to be positive, one of them has to be negative. So what times what gives me negative 24 and at the same time when I add these values, I get negative five. Thinking through my factors of 24, I got one and 24, uh, two and 12, three and eight. I think three and eight would be ha uh, what I'm gonna have to use here. And in order to get this to be a negative five when I add, I need to make sure it's negative eight. So positive three times negative eight would give me negative 24. And if I add those two, positive three and negative eight, I do get the negative five. So at this point, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try out these next four. So pause the video uh, and try those out. And after you pause the video, I'll give you the, the solutions to the problems. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to try these out. And for number six, you should have negative three and negative two. Negative three times negative two would give me positive six. Negative three plus negative two would give me negative five. Uh, on my next one, I need negative 15 and positive one. Negative 15 times positive one will give me negative 15. If I add negative 15 plus one, I get negative 14. Uh, on the next one, I should have negative 15 and five. Negative 15 times five would give me negative 75. Negative 15 plus five would give me negative 10. And the last one uh, should be four and three. So four times three would give me 12. Four plus three gives me seven. Uh, and that takes care of solving all the puzzles.